There are a few basic coin tube cassette configurations available from the factory. They are represented by the last two letters in the coin changer model number. The most common one is BB. The BB represents the coin tubes and their locations in the cassette. The coin cassette is labeled with A, B, C, those are the front three tubes, and D, E, and F are the rear tubes. In cassette BB, coin tube A would be a quarter, coin tube B would be a dime, coin tube C is a nickel, and on the back side, coin tube D is a nickel, E is a quarter, and F is a quarter. In some cases, you may want to convert the coin tubes in the standard cassette to customize it for a specific location. To do this, you would remove the tube and then reprogram the acceptor. There are several options for tubes in the cassette. For instance, dollar tubes can be placed in the A, B, and C locations. Quarter tubes can be put in all six coin tube locations. Nickel tubes can go in all six coin tube locations and dime tubes can be placed in A, B, C, or D and E, but not F. A custom cassette configuration is anything other than standard. Okay? To customize a tube or to change a tube in the cassette, press the cassette release lever down, open the cassette. To physically remove the tube, Grab the top of the tube, tilt it forward away from the cassette, lift it out, install the new tube by placing it on the hooks in the front, snapping it back in the cassette, and then closing the cassette. Once the coin changer resets, you will have to go through the menu and change the coin routing for the acceptor. In a custom cassette configuration, once you physically change the coin tube, you have to reprogram the acceptor to route coins to that new tube location. To do that, press the menu button, scroll up to where the display says setup, press C to enter, then scroll up to where it says setup, cassette, press enter, it'll say cassette standard, I want to scroll up to cassette custom, press enter, and now the display will say, using my arrow keys to move sideways to the tubes or up and down to change the value. Right now, the A tube is blinking 25 cents. And that's the tube I have in my A location. I changed my C tube, so I want to move sideways using the F button to where I get to the C tube, which now is a nickel tube. The display says it's a 25 cent tube, so I want to change its value using the up or down arrow keys. Scroll up, it says a dollar. Two, when the display has three bars across it, that will disable the tube. I want to scroll up to where it says C, five cents, and then enter that. The display will show you updating coin changer, and now it's saving the new coin routing information for that custom cassette. To disable a tube, you want to make sure that the, when you're in custom cassette that the value for that tube has three bars across it. In this case, I want to disable my back tubes, the D, E, and F tube. D is blinking, so I want to scroll up to where I have D and three bars across. Move sideways, press the up arrow, E has three bars, move sideways again to the F is blinking, press the up arrow to get three blinking bars and then press enter and now I've just disabled the back three tubes in this coin changer.